Welcome to the fourth IEEE Bombay Section Signature Conference 2022. I have the absolute pleasure of welcoming Mr. Dhirendra Mishra, Program Chairperson 311 Program, to our little chat. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Uh, I want to ask you some technical questions. How is data science education in India as compared to our Western counterparts? How is it coming along? Yeah. So as you know, data science is uh, one of the leading areas where uh, not even India, everyone uh, they are looking for. And uh, I think uh, a decade ago, decade uh, ago when we started our data science program at NPSTME, so very few institutes. I I would, I would say that um, none of them actually mm. were there in this area. And uh, the Western world have uh, definitely they have started. They were the pioneers in uh, uh, many of the roles in the IT industry, and they have also uh, got uh, lots of uh, development at their side. But nowadays, in the last five six years, India is keeping is is uh, is going up uh, mm. with uh, with respect to the educational institutions mm. providing data science as a mm. course or a program, and even. Uh, the industry, mm. they are also doing good, and there are not many job opportunities mm. in the area of data science. Mm. And they are looking for the data scientists, data analytics, yeah, people who are going yeah. to good skill. That was my next question, actually. How has the how has the trend changed among students? You know, looking for generally traditional uh, engineering courses to now looking at uh, AI or data sciences as their uh, preference. Looking at the admission as as an academician, so I can talk about the education very well. Uh, look at the admission trend in the last four to five years. Uh, we are finding lots of admissions in the area of computer science, mm. allied branches, mm. in data science, cyber security, artificial intelligence, uh, compared to our uh, other areas of mechanical and yeah, traditional yeah. engineering, mechanical yeah. and civil okay. engineering. Yeah. Okay. And it is picking up, and uh, even people are very much aware. Even I, I will tell you the three women program which I am chairing. That is a unique program which we have designed in mm. collaboration with Virginia Tech. Okay. So that program provides students opportunity to have three degrees in five years, mm. and though all three degrees are in the area of data science. Oh, achha. So it's B Tech Computer Science Engineering Data Science mm. that we are providing as a degree, and the second degree what Virginia Tech is awarding that is Bachelor of Science in Cyber Security Management Analytics. Oh, and the third degree what is again Virginia Tech is offering is a Master of Science in Business Administration, but that concentration is again in Business Analytics. Okay, so you can see the uh, the combination would be have. Yes, so analytics is the core, uh -huh. and we have got the management, cyber security, and you have connected everything. Yeah. And, and that is building a very good skill for students hmm. so that they can rule the world. Yeah, yeah. So we have seen drones taking over the jobs of cameramen. Yeah. So what do you have to say about robotics and its effect on replacing jobs of people? Uh, you're right. Dr drones are being used, and uh, nowadays we have RPA, uh, re robot process automation, yes. is yes. coming up. <coughs> Software-based robots are coming up. So being used by many people, um, their futures. Because the thing is that automation is going to revolutionize everything, whatever we are living in and we are learning and we are working with. Because uh, we are transforming the world digitally very fast. Mm -hmm. But that is not going to affect our jobs. As no. such, I feel so because there might be change in the pattern and the type of job which is going to be created. I guess we'll create a balance uh, as we go along. Uh, what we need is that in future we need to have a separate skills to be developed. Mm. Right. right. So new skills need to be developed, mm. but the nature of the job is going to be slightly differentiated, changed. Mm. But because you cannot replace human beings. Nobody can will be out of jobs. Exactly. You cannot replace human beings. But yeah, we have to be ready to learn more and mm. skill up yeah. ourselves. True. Because coming days, the uh, requirement of the skills are going to be different. Yeah. And Absolutely. we have to be ready to learn and adopt to that mm. culture. Nothing else. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, this enlightening conversation. Thank you. It was a real pleasure. Thanks a lot. Thank you. 
With this interview, we come to the end of today's episode. Don't forget to tune in for more exciting happenings and interesting chats with experts. Until then, signing off. Do take care.